Good morning. We are here today to help the family of Christopher Harris. Christopher was murdered on Saturday, June 26, 2010 at 10.15 p.m. The incident took place at a Marathon gas station located on the 14,000 block of Edmore Drive near 8 Mile Road in Gratia Avenue in Detroit. Christopher was only 24 years old. If you have any information about this crime or any other crime, you can make the important call to Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Crime Stoppers received 488 tips in January. This was the highest number of tips ever recorded in a month. More people than ever are getting involved to make their communities safer. We guarantee that your information is secret. You will never be asked for your name. Your call will not be recorded. Your call or web tip will not be traced. You will not have to make a statement to the police and you will not have to appear in court. There is a cash reward of up to $2,500 if your tip leads to an arrest in this case. This reward will be paid anonymously. If you know anything about any other crime, make the anonymous call. You would want someone to call if it was your family. First, we have Sergeant Gardner from DPD Homicide. Good afternoon, my name is Sergeant. Go ahead. Oh, it's right. My name is Sergeant Kenny Gardner. I am from Detroit Police Homicide. Will you spell Gardner from the G-A-R-D-N-E-R. I agree. Um, again, on June 27, Mr. Harris was at the Marathon gas station, which was located at the corners of Gratiot and Eastburn, uh, during which time Mr. Harris was inside of the gas station. A vehicle approach, which is described as an eggshell colored vehicle, uh, 1997, they're about uh, Crown Victoria, at which time the vehicle was being driven by two black females, and which was occupied by three other black males. Uh, Mr. Harris was pointed out for reasons that uh, we're still investigating, and at that time the three black males exited the vehicle and chased Mr. Harris. At that time, shots were fired, and Mr. Harris uh, managed to make it around the corner, at which time he collapsed. We are aware that there was a good Samaritan in the area, and certainly we're employing that Samaritan to come forward. Uh, there was two males in a black vehicle who were out there who attempted to assist Mr. Harris. Certainly, we definitely are asking you to call White Ant to speak up and give us, provide us with information or any uh, witness account that you may have towards this incident. We're also aware that there was a young lady who was uh, possibly leaving a local bar at the time who also may have witnessed this crime. Certainly it is time for our Detroit citizens to adopt a no tolerance for violence attitude. It's what we're asking the community to do. So again, if you have any information regarding this case, whether you with those good Samaritans that were out there at that time or anyone else, we're asking you to call 1-800-SPEAK-UP and provide us with the information. Thank you. Sergeant, you said that he was pointed out. Was that like somebody in the vehicle pointed him out? Yes. He, so he was definitely, you believe, the intended target, the intended victim? Correct. Okay, so somebody, one of the people, Who one of the women or somebody in the vehicle pointed him out, singled him out, and the, the other three males got out and went after him. We're not 100% certain exactly who pointed him out, but one of the five individuals in that vehicle pointed him out as we believe the words is, there he is. And at which time the males exited the vehicle, chased Mr. Harris, and then shots were fired. So he had but no history or anything that would have led somebody to, led you to somebody who might have been looking for him? Uh, well, we're still investigating the motive, so that's kind of hard for us to say at this time. So what happened to the two Good Samaritans and the female that saw it? They, they gave a, a report and now you can't find them? No, um, we managed through our investigation to find out that these persons exist, that someone out there was attempting to help the two black males in the black vehicle. Uh, again, we don't know who they are, so definitely we're asking those individuals to call 1-800-SPEAK-UP provide us that information. So even, even that night the police didn't didn't speak with them, didn't uh, No, they had left the scene. Okay. 
So this is actually sort of a special, different Crime Stoppers because you are looking specifically for at least three people who seen or helped, you know, helped this in marriage. the, yes. Well, yes, of course, we're definitely looking for those individuals, but we also don't discount the fact there may have been others. Mm -hmm. So that's why we employ the entire community to get involved. Mm -hmm. and now we have Kim Harris, who is Chris's sister. Hi. Ms. Harris, is that, is that K-I-M? Yes. Um, we're just here today to try to get anyone who knows anything about my brother's murder to come forth. Um, our family cannot have peace and my brother cannot rest in peace until this is known. Um, he has two daughters that he left behind that will never know him. Um, and we're just asking that if anything, if you know anything at all, just please give a call. Um, no one has to know who you are. Um, we just want this solved so that my mother can finally have some type of closure. Yeah. Hi, my name is Lucretia Harris. I'm Christopher's oldest sister. Um, my brother was very um, known and popular in the neighborhood. And just as my sister, sister stated, anyone, and we know that there are people out there that saw that crime, we just ask that you will be willing to set aside the, the afraidness that you may have to tell on the people that you know committed the crime. Uh, my brother did not deserve to die like that. He did not deserve that at all. Ms. Harris, can you spell your first name for us, please? Um, L-A-C-R-E-I-S-H-A. -E yeah, how were, how is the relationship with the mothers of his, or mother of his children? Are they, is it okay, or are they suspects, or? Oh, no, they're not suspects. No, okay. They, don't, they have an okay relationship. Um, both of the moms were at the funeral. Um, Kids still ask about dad to this day. Um, it was fun. I just asked because two females may have pointed them out saying there he is and or being involved. I wondered if there was any kind of, um, you know, jaded girlfriend or anything like no, that. No, no. They have nothing. We're no. actually, to our knowledge, they have nothing to do with this. No. Talk about your brother a little bit. What kind of guy was he? What did he? Um, Chris was a very troubled, troubled person. Um, he had a lot of, you know, anger about things that he felt didn't go his way. Um, but he was still a very loving person. Um, good hearted person. He was very good hearted. Um, he would help you if he could help you. Um, I mean, we all have our faults. He had his faults, but was he ever the type, you know, where we would have thought someone would have shot him down? No, no, he was never that type. And he loved his, he loved to be around his family. Can we get a, a little bit more description of the people that did may, may have seen it? You said it was two, two African-American males in a car that helped him, and pop, and possibly a female, just so we can. What I'll try to do is I'll try and put the story towards that. Like we do have people that we are specifically looking for, and that way, you know, maybe if someone else saw them, they can step forward. Right. Unfortunately, uh, we do not know if it was African American males in the vehicle. Uh, that's probably an assumption. We do not know. We know that there was a black vehicle and the two males tried to assist him and uh, 
we have information that someone in that area heard saying, leave him, man. So they were trying to aid him, but apparently it appears that they got scared because this is a shooting, and they decided to leave. So again, those are good Samaritans as far as we know, uh, that they tried to aid Mr. Harris as best that they could. We don't know if they were, again, African Americans or white males or what exactly they were. But I'm sure that a person knows that if they were driving a black car on that particular night, and that they saw, heard a shooting, and they tried to aid someone, they know who they are. And hopefully they will see this report and come forward. Is there any surveillance from the marathon station? Anything that you could? Uh, right now, we won't speak on that. Uh, we'll keep that with us for you.